we're back with a second round of steep shot brewing. Welcome, my name is Patrick Rolf and this is Coffee with April. For this video, we're taking a look, a second look on the steep shot brewer. Uh, we recommend all of you to tune in on our first video about this before you actually watch this. So we did a video um, and after that video, Ari, the founder of the Steep Shot, was kind enough to send us some recommendations and some tips um, and some gear actually to make sure that we could improve our Steep Shot brewing. And part of what he did was that he sent us his metal filter which we didn't use, we used an AeroPress filter. He also sent us a new rubber seal for the lid. Apparently the first rubber seal that came out with the Kickstarter was an optimal, and they have since that actually made a better version of it. Now, so we got it, we've been test brewing, and we wanna show you again what kind of results we're coming with uh, using this brewer heavily inspired by the brew recipe that Tim Mendebo is using in his own video, and he's a distributor for this little device in Norway. So, first of all, ground coffee. We have 14 grams of coffee grounded using a commandante grinder on 20 clicks, to be precise. Um, we chose a Kenyan coffee. As with always when it comes with these kind of brewing methods uh, that are a bit heavier, we feel inherently, we actually prefer using a slightly more acidic coffee. Now, a few things here before I start brewing, because the brewing process will be quite quick. Uh, we're looking at a total brew time uh, of about 30 seconds, and we're counting that from when we finished the pour. We're gonna let it sit for about 30 seconds and then flip it over. Now, some other notes that Ari had in that video when you watched it was, one, we need to pour the water faster. So we used basically a fellow kettle in our first video. He said, you need to pour faster. We said, okay. So what we did now is that we took out a Bonavita kettle. Um, now, we still, prefer using a kettle where we can control the pouring. We don't want to pour too much or too little water. And when we tested, we felt that a normal kind of uh, water boiler poured as quick as we can. We're not consistent with the amount of water we pour. So therefore, we're still using this. Ari, I hope that's still fast enough for you. We're going to be able to pour 200 grams in about 10 seconds-ish. We're going to put the lid on, uh, and then we're going to let it brew for 30 seconds and then flip it over. Now, another point that we had in this video was the fact that when I screwed this on, this little level thing here, I apparently did it too tight, which I didn't really know you could, but apparently you can. So um, we're going to put it on not as tight, basically. Pretty simple. Um, so that's about it. We already been through the process uh, in terms of how assembling this, so we're not going to go into too much detail. Basically, metal filter uh, into the pocket, then a little kind of filter holder thing here that we're also putting in, and that kind of locks into itself really kind of neatly like this here, and that's kind of prepped and, and good to go. So let's start our brewing. So the water as well is in 100 uh, degrees Celsius, the highest possible with the kettle. Um, and we're gonna first of all start the timer to do the pour. And I'm pouring very aggressively here. up to 200, that took me nine seconds. And screwing on the lid. And then tightening this, not too much. That's at 20 seconds. Now I'm gonna let it sit up until 50 seconds with a 30 second steep time. And then we're gonna flip it over and see what happens. Yeah. So quick shake. Flip it over, opening the valve. Yeah. Love that. So one of the things we can see with this is that it is coming out way faster with a metal filter than a paper filter, which is kind of an interesting process. Uh, now we could do a hundred clips and at one of those clips, this mess wouldn't happen, but 
to be honest, this ma mess happens quite often when we do this. So we rather have it in the video. Uh, anyway, one minute and 20 seconds and I've done myself a coffee, basically. So what is actually our conclusion second time around here? Um, there's definitely still a few question marks with this, but let's focus on the positives first. So um, a good note here, metal filter versus paper filter. The water goes through way quicker when you open it up, right? And one of the main concerns with the brewer is that you're actually stuck having to hold it upside down by yourself, which doesn't feel very functional. However, to the defense of the brewer, we should say that with a metal filter, the coffee goes through way faster. So the amount of time you have to stand there holding it is actually way less. Uh, furthermore, it is a bit messy, right? Like we've done this quite a few times now and every once in a while I make it work in a way that is definitely cleaner than what I did now. But still more than often, this is what I end up with. And I wouldn't be very comfortable using this, for example, at home um, or in a place where I would be concerned over making it messy, right? I'm not taking it to a world championship anytime soon. Let's, let's put it like that. Um, moving on, what's interesting is that, um, and this is maybe because we're pouring a bit faster, which I already did mention, um, we are getting a cup profile that tastes less like thermos. And when we talk to our, especially our Patreon members that are also using this brewer now, um, they say that basically the shorter the brew time, the less of the thermos kind of metallic taste to the coffee, which is true. So basically, if you want to grind coarser, which we normally want, and brew longer, then it does take up quite a lot of this kind of metallic thermos taste, which is why we actually prefer the recipe we did now, which is a bit faster. Uh, it, it does create a cleaner cup of coffee. However, when it comes to metal filters, uh, and I guess that is because the pressure is still not high enough. You still get this kind of muddy um, uh, kind of taste to the coffee that is in effect. I get the same basically pitch when I'm using a metal filter for an hour press as well. You have this metallic kind of vibe, especially on a very light roasted coffee. Um, so what is the conclusion here? Well, it is a perfectly drinkable cup of coffee. Um, it's a tastier than what we have been able to do on a narrow press or an April Brewer or a V60 or something like that. No, it's not. Um, if I want to categorize this taste of coffee, in my world, it's kind of a clean, cleaner French press, um, which could be interesting. And one of the things that you also need to keep in mind when it comes to this brewer is the cleaning of it. Uh, if you then, for example, which may or may not be fair to do, compare it with the AeroPress, which, which kind of falls into the same category, this is considerably more work to actually clean, which is relatively frustrated. Um, then again, from what we understand, this is something you should take with you out in nature, um, probably out hiking, something like that. Like we would still prefer to bring an April drip pack over this. But it's an interesting little gadget. We're gonna to continue to work with it and we're really thankful for Ari to kind of pick up on our first video and give us some feedback and some pointers. Um, and again, if you feel that we still in this video didn't make it justice, then you know, write us again and we'll be happy to do another video. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching. Special thanks to all Patreons that will be get some behind the scene kind of feedback and notes on this brewer as well that you guys will not get unless you're a Patreon member. Uh, with that, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, any thoughts, please just write them below here. Thank you. We want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you want to see uh, because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.